Escape. Am I gonna get a copyright strike for playing this? No. Bro, this really my shit though. You gotta know. No, I'm saying because I'm gonna let it play on the YouTube. Can you take away the stress? Like we doing sets. Maybe you wanna rent. Need the narrow. Meditate. Peter, like yoga, my body pulled out. Working my body, bring out the best. That's another podcast. You got me way, you just like a tsunami. Yeah, open up my mind. Can you vibe with me? I don't ask for much. This song is streaming anywhere you can make an attempt. Can you try with me? Converse, can I explore your message? 141,000 plays on Spotify. Run it up, run it up, run it up. All these maneuvers are making me sweat. Video and audio workout. Verbal to the cool down. 25k on the video. Hey, we need to get that. We need to get that to fifty. Oh, yeah. This is I told y'all we were recording. This is live. Yeah, we're live. Yeah. I wanted the people to hear your song. We're gonna, we're gonna roll the pod right into it with this. Meditate by Nia Zanero. Go check it out. Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you Meditate, music meditate, at. educate. Can I follow your lead? Can you delegate? Uh, 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 can you show me how to elevate? Uh, 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 can you show me your best way? We burn the calories, getting intense. I break you like me, you ain't been with a thing. Gotta have your own mind. We're gonna talk about your influences too. I hear influences. We're gonna talk about something else. I hear something else. Meditate out now. Video everywhere. Go run them them views up. Just another podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. Bling. Mm-hmm. How y'all doing? I'm doing great. We're here on a Tuesday. I'm great. Ooh. Tuesday. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's new. We're here with... I'm, I can pod any day y'all say y'all want to pod. I'm with it. But anyway, um, we're here with the the great Nia De Niro. You in town for a show today? I'm in town for a show. Fire. My first virtual concert, so it's a big deal. It's oh, that's a, super it's, hard. It's yeah. a tiny desk series. Exactly. It's a 30-minute yeah, set. Um. And, you know, I was thinking to myself, like, I've been putting emphasis on a 30-minute set, 30-minute set, mm-hmm. but I don't think people understand how big that is. I mean, yeah. a 30-minute set is a, is a big deal because um, you pretty much have to show that you can put together a show. Not everyone can put together a show. Right. for sure. They can, re- they can, you know, perform a song, but putting on a show really takes, you know, set list and mm-hmm. a theme and a concept yep. and everything else. So yep. I'm super, super, super excited. Fire. Definitely. I came in here one day and tried to pod by myself for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most difficult. I was like, see, respect them niggas that be talking to the camera for an hour, bro. <laughs> you deleted no. that shit? No, I still got it. Okay. I don't be deleting nothing. I got like- The world was, has never seen it, huh? I was going to put it out. Half of it was about me defending Cam- Kevin Samuels. Oh, God. No, it's fire. It might go viral. Never know. It could have went viral. It was old, though. Never know. Um, <laughs> but that's it, this ain't about me. This yeah. is about me. This is about, yes. this is about Nia. Well, welcome back. You're, one of, you're like our second guest to have a, a double back. I know. I'm so thankful. I'm so excited. That's what I'm saying. I feel special. I don't think who Jinx. Yeah, Jinx has been back twice. That's shout out to Jinx. He's super, super dope. Super dope artist. Fifth dimension in the building. In the building. (laughs) Left some stuff in here, but anyway. (laughs) No, no. Jinx is my guy. Yeah, I mean. Um. So where do we want to start? You want me to start? Yeah. Where do you? That's fine. Okay. Well. For people that didn't see the first in, uh, interview or the people that are not familiar with their music, tell us a little bit who you are. I am Nia DeNero. I go by Nia DeNero. I'm from uh, Northern Virginia, from the DMV area. Uh, I'm an Emphasis artist. on the V. 
on on the V. I'm from the V. The, I represent the V and the DMV. All right. Really from California, but you know. Originally from California. We'll claim you. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll claim you. Well, anyway, when you, get, <laughs> you get scorching hot. I'm like, she's from VA. She's from VA. <laughs> Clearly, she's from the seven five. You like somebody went oh, exposed. No, she's not. She's from California. <laughs> it's, it's, you know. You know. Um, I'm a creative artist, songwriter. Um, you said it earlier, artist. You know, Correct. there's just a big difference between saying that you're a rapper and yeah. singer and, and just saying you're an artist. I'm an artist. I Rappers go, I go, I go where my muse that, takes me, where the passion yeah. takes me. That's where that's yeah. where I'm at. How do you feel about most people that, because uh, you kind of, you do rap, mm -hmm. but rappers don't want to be in that rapper lane no more. I, on, no. To be honest with you, I starting out, I really didn't. Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't like when people called me a rapper. I didn't want to be considered a rapper. But then other people that would hear me would be like, no, you're a rap. Like you you're have rapping. To. At one point, right. you yeah. got to say you're a rapper. You're that's clearly rapping. You, that's what you do. <laughs> they'll say, well, are you a singer? I'm like, no, that's not my, that's not the main. And then they'll kind of put in a box like, okay, what's your primary? Like yeah. if, if someone were to think of me at the narrow, what would you want to be known for? Like what's, what's the first thing you would do, mm -hmm. be known for? And I think at this point, especially like where I am now, my sound, like a song like Meditate and it's not, I, I think I'm kind of walking like a, kind of like an in the middle line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's it's not singing. It's not rapping. It's just it's just a vibe. It's just yeah. a, it's a. I feel like that's I where most artists are nowadays. Yeah, like, it's just melody. I think melody you never go out of style. Yeah. I don't think tone and texture and your yeah. voice would go out of style. Like we were just talking about Drake. I think. Drake is dope for the simple fact it, for the simple fact that he has the right tone and the texture in his voice. He knows how to use his voice. He knows how to like he's an artist because he doesn't limit himself from the tracks that he would get on in the yeah, genres right. that he taps into. But he does lean. See, see that, there's a difference between like we're talking Drake because he does lean into being a rapper, bars, lyricist, right. Right. right? Too. But to to your point, more people like. I would say when Post Malone came on, we we thought of him as a rapper. White Iverson, that's a that's yeah. kind of a rap song. Right. Yeah, it's kind you of. Know, before we knew who he was, and now he's like, nah, bro, I'm a rock star. You know, I will say this, and this is this is I'm saying this as someone who is unsigned, mm -hmm. but had, I've been in spaces with A and R's, yeah. and just the industry side. Right. One of the things they really push now it's different. Now the industry's changed. Now it's different. Like now you don't like we know you don't really need a label to do ABCD, yeah. so everyone can make their own rules. But I know that I definitely got the whole. Well, what are you? Are you a rapper? Are you a singer? You got to from pick the one. labels when you go in. Yeah, there. like yeah. you have to pick one. Are you trying to be pop well, or are you hip hop or are you? And I never well, hip hop. Like seriously, like are What's you are you hip hop? Are you urban? Oh, hip hop. Yeah. Hip -hop. <laughs> Don't it sound like she said hip hop? Oh no, <laughs> I, that, that's probably a genre, dude. Yeah, I was like, oh, hip, what's hip -hop? hip hop? You know, are you hip hop or are you are you trying to are you a rapper? Are you a R and B or whatever? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think you know one of the things we know, like you're talking about Post Malone's, a lot of them you gotta. In order to get what you want, you got to give a little. Yeah. So I think at first they're kind of pushed to okay, this is going to be the space you're going to be in. Mm -hmm. Get out. Break your record, and then yeah, you can he get was out with there all and the do rappers. What you do. And now he kind of right faded away. Obviously, I'm and I ain't gonna lie, I like Post. Right, Post is kind of <laughs> fire. Nah, he's fire. The first two, two albums is like hitters. I could never yeah. hear him again and be okay. Oh. White Iverson is a classic. A classic. <laughs> oh my god! Classic. Bro, but I'm, you've I'm been you've been at a you've been in DC and White Iverson came I've on never, and it was a vibe. No, it's, no. See, White Iverson came out. I disagree. The same time as a. Uh, I'm in the, on a Tuesday. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was during that time. Much better song. That was during McCone? that time. Much better no, that song. Because much better Drake song. was on it. Much better song. Because Drake was on it. <laughs> doesn't matter why. It's a much That's better song. Why. It's a much better song. I'm glad you brought that up. That's a much better song. What I'm saying is kind of like, uh, what's another song that gives you that same vibe as White Out? Like when Big Old Freak plays. Meg Thee Stallion. That's to me. That's her best song, right? I don't. I still don't know. Don't when that comes on, that beat and that melody is such a bop, bro. Go to Rose Bar and let Big Old Freak I'm play. Y'all gonna be like, oh. You talking about best? I think she still has. No, nah, I don't like. I think she's like still. That. I don't think she's made her best best yet. I think she's still in the in, in she's in oh, okay. that. Oh, you think so? <laughs> How we were talking about earlier, the same song over and over. It's really the same song over and over. Which one? Every single song she's ever made, except for Big Old Freak, which is okay. Her best song. That's fine. No, 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 and I'm not saying I'm same not cadence saying, and everything. I'm not saying that to say that she doesn't 
See, Big Ol' Freak don't have that same cadence. That she does. Yeah. Feel... <laughs> yeah. That's all she does. It's a, a, a bar and then, yeah. And huh. If I could play it without my That's video all getting cut down, I, I, I would play feel, it. I just feel like the best. I, I, I wish you could. I feel like could. the best is yet oh, to come. We can get eight seconds like of We can get eight seconds of every song. We ain't going to. We're not even going to dig up our podcast. That's fine. We're not going to do it. We're only playing Nia De Niro tracks during this episode. All I'm saying is, you said best like she, like there was nothing left. I don't even I, check for nothing she puts out. I think <laughs> there I is think nothing There's still left. a lot more to come. That's what I'm saying. I don't think so. <laughs> I just killed our Meg the Stallion interview. Yeah, that's possibilities. Not right. Probably not. <laughs> like, y'all ain't going to get me in trouble. Oh, oh yeah, we we come her features and everything. Yeah, I'm y'all sorry. Ain't y'all ain't gonna. Nobody, no, but you picked her up. It's cool. <laughs> she don't fuck with us. She probably fuck with you though. Yeah. No, she not gonna see. But this nah, stuff. man. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. And Tory Lanez was my second most listened artist for 2020. Oh yeah, she's <laughs> definitely not fucking with you. Hey, Tory's. I fuck with Tory though. I just think he's a bang. Another artist. Yeah, I think, exactly. I think Tori is, a, is an amazing artist. Tori is phenomenal. Yeah, we'll get into that's a whole other conversation. The off the field stuff. Yeah, he. Yeah, mm. no, no, just the idea of like some people don't, they don't tie the person with the artist. Like some people can, mm-hmm. you know, he can do what he can do, but I just love him as an artist, and I'm gonna mm-hmm. focus on him as an artist. Even yeah. with the R. Kelly situation, some people just focus on the fact that he's a great artist, but they don't tie the other stuff in. And then you have other people that are like, no, I tie the person in. It depends with on what you the, did. You know, the it's, image and it's everything. It's nuanced else. too. It depends on what you did. Not really. If you're Bill Cosby or R. Kelly, I can't. I'm sorry. But to- we, we, look, we can off top. Let's Bill Cosby's back. innocent. Let's he's out of jail. Topic. I don't know. Okay then. Yeah. Exactly. Let's get back on topic. Please let's get back on topic. <laughs> Nia, you're supposed to reel us in. You're gonna let us gonna talk about know. whatever. <laughs> yeah, uh just for now. Out now. Meditate. Video. Just for Ever. yo. All right. Just for now. That's that that, that E P album. What would you classify it as? The E P album. The just for now? Yeah. It's an E P. E P. Because the E P right. six songs or less. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite on the on the album? Or E P? On the EP, um, and why? So I have a, I have a, an EP, and then I have a deluxe version that's not out yet. Mm-hmm. Um, mm, the, the deluxe, deluxe version actually includes birthday. Um, Get them spread. I actually have mm-hmm. a feature. Do you all know an artist, Intellect? Yes. Intellect. No, he, he might not. I don't know. You know no, Intellect, right? right? Yeah. So on the, um, he did a remix with a for fun. He okay. did a remix, a verse on that, which is that's crazy, 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 crazy. Um. But I actually like for fun. I like for fun. I think for fun is my favorite because I think with that song, that was the sound that I had been searching for, mm-hmm. and I and I felt like I finally found it I, in my, I in would my say way from on that track. The first time you came here to this EP, there's mm-hmm. a difference, like in the tone, almost like the artistry has been maturing a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The flow is a little different. The way you're delivering. The bars, the sound is a little different. Take us through the journey of, so last time you came here, you was talking to us mostly about uh, the birthday track, right? Right. And now we're on a whole different wave. Right. How right. do you feel since that interview? To, and how, that was probably. Like last year? It was about a year yeah, ago. Yeah, about right? a year ago. Right. Mm-hmm. A lot has changed in a year. Tell us about that. Well, um, so when I came here, I had just, it was the top of the year. I had just signed yeah. a management. I just. You know, I had the distribution situation mm-hmm. under Sony, right? Under Sony, but that was under the management right. situation, and um, that in itself was a learning, a learning. Uh, it was a process. Okay. It was. It, it definitely. Long story short, I don't have management anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 I think at the end of the day, the lesson in that was, you know, you just have to be very mindful of. People have to understand your vision. You know what I mean? Not only do they have to understand your vision, but it's very easy for people to kind of see um, the potential in you, but not really have the 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 capacity to really get get down and dirty with you right. and really make it happen. Yeah. So would you say your your management didn't have that same vision with you? I think I think the the vision, vision and work ethic are two different things. Like That's having right. the vision and actually being able to to make it execute happen and, make it happen. and yeah, execute yeah, yeah. and make it happen and strategize and plan and and do all that stuff. That's you're only as good as your follow up. Yeah. You're they, only as good as your plan. So the intangibles, the tangibles. Okay. And so um, that in itself, I think a part of why you're sensing just a, a feeling of growth and this and that is because I had to. I was stretched. 
Yeah, yeah. You know, you I had to everything. I had to push myself in a different way. I had to, you know, if you know, I had to put together my website. I had to put together this. I had to do this. I had to do that. Which in the end, I can look back on it now and I'm like, it only made me a better artist. It only yeah, made me you're understand. Managing yourself. It only made me understand <laughs> right. like I am near the narrow. Like For this sure. is, I am. You right. know what I mean? Um and so that's where I'm at. And that's where I'm at. And I think the music, you know, even now, like what I'm pushing, everything that you guys are seeing, the content, that's me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? The content that you're seeing, the the timing, the consistency, the strategy, that's me. You know what I mean? And you know, sometimes you're just put in positions to where they're, they're learning learning lessons, but at the same time, like you come out of it, you come out of it stronger. It's cliche, but it's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you had a um an incident happen on like your social media page. I was hacked. Yeah, that, hacked. That everybody you know, got hacked. My girl got hacked. I was hacked. She didn't have an incident. Yeah, they, um, they didn't you not they didn't get it back or nothing. I didn't get it back. And you know, even in that situation, it was just kinda like Page just disappeared. You know, even what are y'all doing with these passwords? Let's be real. So it wasn't a password. <laughs> so this is how I got hacked. Um, so I'm 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 pretty pretty sure that these hackers are like tapping into some kind of like artificial intelligence or something like that because this hacking Bro. situation. I'm serious. Go ahead. The whoever hacked me <clears throat> went into my DM and mm. literally was talking to me like someone that I knew, but mm. the language matched exactly how they would talk. Like it had like. Just everything. It wasn't just like mm -hmm. a normal robotic conversation. It mm -hmm. was the conversation like I would just be like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. I responded to the, I literally just responded to what they were saying in a DM in my phone. No, I literally, like it literally went boop and it just took me out of Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to get in and then it literally deactivated everything that I needed to get back into Instagram. It, de it deactivated my email, deactivated like my phone number, everything. I had to get a new credit card. I had to get just all this new stuff. The Bruh. biggest thing for me was getting my name back. Right. And so, as you guys know, no, sir. Yeah, as, as you know not me. when they hacked me, they ended up going on my page and they were asking for money. And oh. the only reason why I knew that that was happening was because the people who knew me and my character, they were like, okay, this ain't this ain't." Yeah, yeah, so they yeah. were texting me yeah. like, is this you? And then they were asking for 10000 The next thing you know, they're asking for like, just crazy amount. Some people actually gave the money. I had someone call me. I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was, it was self care day. Mm. I was in the tub. Bubbles were popping. You was meditating. And I, did, right. I was meditating. And I had it. I got a phone call from someone. Something told me to pick it up. And someone, something was like, right, who is this? Mm. And they pretty much was like, I gave you money. And I, you know, like, how am I gonna get my money back? I'm like, sir, first of all, I, I, you know. So hold on. He didn't really even you. know you? He doesn't know me like that. Right, like he he knew of me, but he didn't know me like he didn't that. Know you like he to knew give me, me no enough bread. to get the number, but he mm. didn't know me enough to give me money. Oh, like he thought he you me. gave him the number earlier, and he was gonna give you some the money. Bread, yeah. You know, it was it was just it was just crazy. But like oh, I well, said, that's, that's on him. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> I mean, that's you know, on you, brother. Whoever you are, you're not getting that back. I'm, whoever yeah. you are that keeps sending me money on 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 uh, what's it called, Cash App. Stop asking for it back. I'm not giving it back. Yeah, and stop sending you, it to him. Send it to me. Bro, they be, oh my God, they send me so much <laughs> money. Fuck? I don't know how it keeps happening. So, yeah. So, um. You're not getting it back. The crazy thing with that, the biggest thing was just me getting my name back. I was yeah. Nia De Niro on Instagram. Yeah. That was, a, that was done. Because um, that's who you are as an artist. That's, so. that's who I, that's who I was. And I, it literally happened. I got hacked the same day I dropped birthday. The day mm. I dropped the birthday video was the day I got hacked. Damn, so that seems strategic. It was just a lot. It was just a lot. But at the same time, um, the the amount of support that I did receive and right. just the words that I received, it was pretty much like, yo, you're going to it's going to be better. Your next page is going to be better. Yeah. Like, don't stop. Don't quit. I think a lot of people thought I was going to quit after that. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It was it was a lot because it's right like, there. where the hell do I start <laughs> now? Like, what is this? Yeah. yeah. But everyone was just like, don't quit and, and all that. And. And they also told me, this is like a gem. A lot of people told me, as you're building up your page, pay attention to who, to some of the people that were following on your old page and mm. see if they follow you now. Like pretty much saying, yeah. like, pay attention to who's who. Yeah. Because yeah. this is an opportunity for you to see and figure out who who's really rocking with you. I'm about to say who's really supporting you. Who's really supporting you. And and in that, I'm not going to lie. Like, I've been able to kind of see, like, mm -hmm. I had to kind of re regroup, you know? Yeah. So... Getting support from a grassroots 
scenario is not the easiest thing to in do. any aspect. No, yeah. the reward is great when you get it, but the the process yeah. it's I a mean, lot. You see, last time you came here, there was a whole gang of people in here. You know. Yeah, it's not. I so noticed much. that. I did. I noticed that. <laughs> I'm about to. I, I, I got. I'm about to buy another camera. That mm -hmm. way, I could just. Boom, boom, it's gonna. Be, it's gonna be. Not so much anymore. Nah, it is. Give it up for the audience. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> But these these hackers are getting crazy, man. Take, no, Caitlyn got hacked. Bruh. She only have her own. My guy. bro, he was he sent us a a, a screenshot of one of his friends in a video. Mm -hmm. Like it's him. It's like if I took a video of Kadeem talking mm -hmm. and telling us about like giving money to this program, blah, 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 blah. And it wasn't him. Mm -hmm. Like they they've gotten so good, they made a video, a fake video of him talking. As if it was a real. I'm you know, like, bro, how how are they I doing that? It's that artificial intelligence. It's like robots. It's I weird. know Caitlyn's password was ass. So <laughs> it was ass. Yeah. Oh, no. I thought you were talking about like literally. Oh no, ass. Not, I'm about to say no, what ass? Like it was not <laughs> very technical. Mine is like alphanumeric with symbols and upper. Yeah, mine's you'll, crazy. Never, you'll never guess. Yeah, you'll never guess. Yeah, you'll never guess my if you do, uh, congratulations. Zero zero zero. zero. <laughs> 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 zero, 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 zero. It's yeah, so yeah. simple that me. No, I ain't nothing on that phone. You might not get it. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. So since since then, you you felt the growth. Felt the growth. Um, how has the um, since we were identifying the actual support, how's that been? The support, you know. So I am a woman of faith, and you know, with that comes the understanding that as things are being taken mm -hmm. away and, and and things are shifting and mm -hmm. moving, like I had, I have to have faith that I'm going to be restored with new supporters. Yeah. yeah. A, a better team and right. better opportunities and this and that. And at the time, you know, of course, like when it's going down, you don't want to, you don't think that's going to happen. You don't, yeah. you don't feel it that way. Yeah. But in time, like I've honestly been able to see that. Like I now truly, truly have certain people in my life right now that I would have never been able to see. Honestly, if I was never, if I wasn't hacked, mm -hmm. if I, if I, because the hacking pushed me in a different way, it mm -hmm. ignited something in me that was like, okay, like I have no choice now. Everyone's thinking how to quit. Like now, I have to start from the ground up yeah, in, a, yeah. in a sense. Like I have to. I have to get. I have to get back to the basics. I have to reach out to people. I have to ask for help right. in a way that I never, or maybe there was ego or certain things in the way right. stopping me before. You're your own street like, team. I had to. Yeah, yeah, I have to. I had to strip all that crap and be like, okay, <laughs> like this is. What I I'm feel at. you. So in that space. It's been it's been great. Like honestly, it's been great. And I think, you know, like they say, like when you when you know what it feels like to not have or when things have been taken away or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. when you have it, you appreciate it. Like fact. you value it totally differently. So now I truly, truly understand, like, mm -hmm. like right now on my team, it's me and two other people. I mm -hmm. have other supporters, but it's me and two other people, and we're getting shit done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's to a point to where I can wake up and I'm getting text messages on, okay, we need to come up with a game plan for December. What's mm -hmm. the game plan for next year? Da, yeah, da, da. Yeah. Like, I love that shit. Yeah. You know, where other people are like, oh, you're bothering me. I'm like, no, I need that. I love that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's what I have now. So, it's, it, you know, we good. Yeah. We good now. What do we want to do? A hand clap or drop a bomb? For you that? can do both. A clap. <laughs> to, to be honest, for the people that actually follow you, I, I could probably speak for Kadeem too. Mm -hmm. Um, Watching the, I won't say a rebrand or restart, I'll say a rebirth. Mm -hmm. It's been kind of refreshing to see like that you didn't stop, mm -hmm. like you're actually going harder. Like I see you on my timeline consistently all the time, <laughs> and it's not it's not to say like oh I wish you weren't up there, but I'm just saying like you're consistently putting out like your material. You're putting out yeah. all right, I got a new video. Hey, I'm gonna be here. Hey, I'm here. Like mm -hmm. you're you're very visible to your audience, so it's been re really refreshing to see. And that definitely means a lot. And that was even strategic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, pushed. You know, I was pushed. You know, yeah. obviously what I said, but that in itself was strategic too. And a lot of that, believe it or not, came from my sister. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes you need. A sibling or a family member to kind of point certain things out to you this and that and one right. time and one day she came to me and this was just in a space where I was in a I had the opportunity to pretty much like you said rebrand re-strategize kind of do right. things totally different but knowing that it couldn't be how it was before yeah. that's old that's done that's new it's over right and so she right. yeah she came to me just straight up and she was like look she was like people know you can create a dope song people know that you're a good artist mm -hmm. people know and see you on social media. They know that. Right. 
But what people don't see, they don't see you out there. They don't yeah. see you doing shows. They don't see you. She's like, you need to be out in this because we live like 20 minutes, 30 minutes from D.C. Of She's course. like, you need to be out in the city, yeah. even if it's just all the time. Just go out like yeah. people need to see that you're a dope person. Like, yeah, your music's dope, but people need to see that you're a beautiful person inside yeah. and out. And that, yo, and I'm half of what people her. buy in is lifestyle and all the other exactly. stuff. That's what I be trying to and say <laughs> about Wale ass. I'm exactly. not to get off you. That's what I be saying about <laughs> other artists like that. Yeah. Like, you can't be mad that people aren't supporting your your movement or your your material. If you're not putting yourself out there, mm-hmm. yes, your music is is good. That's cool, but we want to know more about you. We want yeah, to see you. People buy more into that stuff. Yeah, if I see you more on my timeline, I see you doing dope shit. Like, I might want to listen to your music more. Maybe. Right, and that's and like you said, that's just the reality of where we are in the game right now. Like, so foreign like, to me. It's weird. <laughs> it, no, no it's, but it's true. It's you tough. really have to make the decision. So, so I'm a I'm an advocate for 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 emotional health. Like, mm-hmm. I've dealt with anxiety since I was 13, mm-hmm. and a part of, even when you listen to, that's part of the reason why I created songs like Meditate and this and that, whatever. Right, right. So my whole my whole thing is you can still, you can still deal with things like that mm. and still coexist with, still make things happen, still move, not be, you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So I say all not that. Not be stagnant. I, right. I say all that to say, to, to, to deal with anxiety or, because I think um, Wale deals with um, uh, social anxiety, yeah, and social, social anxiety, anxiety stuff like that. So to to deal with those types of things and be in this industry, yeah. it's almost like a. On one hand, you can say like, is it torture? Yeah, in a yeah. way. But then yeah. it's like, some of the most talented people deal with that. You know, deal with right. depression or anxiety, and it's Fact. whatever. It's almost like the 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 gift and the curse mm-hmm. aspect. You know what I'm saying? Of the gift, right. if that makes any sense. And so. My thing is, nowadays getting into the game in 2022, you have to understand that we are in that lifestyle industry, but you have to find a way, which is very hard, but (coughs) you have to do it. If you want to do this, meaning I'm even talking to myself, if I want to do this, I have to find that balance that's still for me. I have to find that balance of like, okay, okay, Nia, I know that we're in a lifestyle industry and people want, want, you know, you got to give. But how much of that am I? Do I have to keep for myself? Like it's vital for me to keep mm. for myself. It's not. It's a non-negotiable mm. for me to keep it for myself for my right. own stability. Right. You know, mental and emotional capacity. Yeah, you yeah. understand what I'm saying? And I just feel like some people can do it and some people can't. But it's really easy. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard no, it when you hard. have the gift that pushes you in certain spaces that you naturally may not. It, it may not naturally suit right. you that makes I sense. was on, so and I'm saying kind of even to the lifestyle point of like so yeah I was just in New York we go great restaurant I got a great view of the city mm-hmm. my story's going up people are mm-hmm. all on mm-hmm. that but if I post hey we got Nia Denaire on the studio just another podcast check it out that video's views are low but if I'm like people really do want to see what kind of car he driving and that's, where's yeah. he eating out exactly. at exactly what's he wearing today oh shit he just bought his girl this like that all that's kind of weird to me but you're in an industry where it's kind of like and i think last time i asked you <clears throat> last time we were asking more about how like the hot girl city girls mm-hmm. like the dress and the music is a little bit my fault a little bit more raunchy in that but mm-hmm. okay you already answered that question go check out that video i'm gonna put a link to it somewhere up here in the in the bio or <laughs> um but now it's like the lifestyle too like they want to see like how she living. Right. How she living. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Who is she dating? So how do you, I mean, obviously Where is she you said going? this, like you want to keep some of that to yourself, mm-hmm. but do you think it behooves you to um, just give it all? Like give it all, or even, you know, some of these artists, it's a facade. It, it, for the it, most it part. Is. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think this is what I, this is what I feel and this is what I know. Um, I move the way I move right now mm-hmm. without the, the million dollar deal and this and that mm-hmm. and this and that da, 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 da. like everyone has their narrative yeah. i believe you have to just own your narrative if you own it they'll 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 rock with you because you own your own shit yeah. you understand what i'm saying yeah, yeah, in that yeah. regard so i think for me one of the things like one of the best compliments that i get is that man you're just you're so consistent and mm-hmm. you're so authentic and you're just you yeah like I'm going to be that even when I do get the blow up, mm-hmm. you know, even when I do get the glow up, even it's just going to be maximized to another level, but it's still going to be within mm-hmm. 
the way I'm going to do it. Does right. that make sense? Mm-hmm. So I feel like even the way that I move now, even the things I choose to show now, it's different for me and it's different for the people who follow me and it's different for the people who need my message mm-hmm. and it's different for the people who need me to show it the way I can only show it. Does that make sense? No, it makes a lot of sense. It's no different than like you, there's thousands of podcasts and millions, millions, <laughs> millions of podcasts, millions of podcasts. Yes, right. And, and we were trying. To, we were kind of talking about that before uh, we started, right? I'm trying to. I wanted to do something more special like this, right? Mm-hmm. Interview people from this area, from Virginia, that are coming up, that are doing something great. They have a following, a buzz. I wanted to give them a platform. That's my main. <clears throat> that was the mission of the pod, actually, mm-hmm. at the beginning. I love Virginia. I love. We're super talented. Whether you cook, sing, dance, rap. We really got it fuck. all, huh? We really have it all. Yeah, whatever you do, I'm, I I want to support that. But when you're trying to create a, a platform and gain a following, it's like shit. We got to do some of the stuff we don't want to do. I don't always want to talk about the popular topics, but on YouTube it would behoove me because right. the only other way to to right. get the algorithm pushed is to have people share it, and most people ain't gonna share it till it's hot. Right. And that's that's, but see, that's, that's where. It's it's a lot. It's a it, it takes just a lot because I understand exactly what you're feeling. I understand exactly what you're feeling, and it's really like it's one of those things where the balance of strategy yeah. and authenticity yeah. and originality mm-hmm. and factor and all that. Like when I was hacked, people didn't know. People didn't. So many people they didn't look at the fact that I was putting out dope shit. Yeah. They didn't look at the fact that I was putting out right, dope right. content. They were looking at, oh, you have two hundred followers. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Which is and, so on on YouTube. I don't even have a subscriber count up there. I wish they removed all that and people made the decision people for just, them. And just right. Made the decision. Mm-hmm. And I and I almost feel like I don't know. There's part of me that thinks that it could get to that. I don't know. I don't know. That's probably why IG is going to take the well, supposedly going to take the like numbers down. Well, yeah. I well, think they they made it so you could hide your likes. Yeah, but people that's getting a whole bunch of likes aren't hiding their likes. Oh yeah. yeah I mean, I, I so I have all. So I don't know about y'all. I hide all my likes, right? Mm. And for me, it's like it's, this is the weird space we're in for people in general, right? Mm. You post a picture because you liked it. Mm. Yeah. You liked it when you post it. But if you don't get a lot of likes, you, you take, take it down. It. I hate take when people down. do that. So, 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 so I hate when people it's do weird. That. That's weird. Did you like fuck. the picture or not? Right. You were looking for some social acceptance. Yeah, you were looking for validation. You know what I'm saying? And it to me that's it's fire, right? Like, yo, the pod could be dope. But if you post a pod when we were at 200 subs, people were like, oh, they only got 200 subs. Oh, that video only has 30 whatever. Right. Our last, I, I, our last I ain't interview sure has, you know, it's got 3.2 thousand. That's a lot for me. That's a lot. Right. We're almost at a thousand subs. We've been grinding, clawing right. at this right. number. Right. 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 But it's like, I watch I watch other content creators that aren't famous. Like, I'm into that. I go on YouTube right. and I watch mm-hmm. a lot of people that are not famous. And I listen to a lot of musicians who are not famous. Like, yo, that's a grind. I respect that grind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then, you, like you said, you got to do certain things. But it's, who am I? Kadeem, I don't want to do all that funny right. stuff. I don't want to have to talk about the baby and Danny. Le- I don't care. But I don't think that, you, now you're just talking, now this is just me. But I don't think that you... If that's not what you want to do, then don't do it. I feel I we have it. But thing, thing, <laughs> like you said, strategy. But the strategy, but here's the thing. I think with and I think I think I think as it's like a it's it's like it's bittersweet, right? Because don't I you feel, think I rappers like that are time, faking it before they actually make it, isn't that part of their strategy though? Because no, people buy into the rapper right. that looks like he has he could live at his mom's house and see me, I'm looking at your picture. I'm looking, oh, you at the red roof, bro. Right. That's not luxury. Right. But people belt a lot of money, right. hopping Hard. out. Of, you know what I'm saying? They, right. they, those are the things that they're putting out there because people are buying into that image. It's part of their strategy. It's a fair point. It, it is. They are. I just feel like I feel like with everything now to go into what you're saying, mm-hmm. I think the only the only solution to that. It's, it's, it's like, I feel like everything's kind of pushing you to soul search everything. Like, yeah, where's your yeah. soul in everything you do? Because we live in the Cause Matrix. Because like, right. seriously, Facts. I feel like you got to find your why in everything. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's why I say it's like bittersweet. Because on one hand, it, it brings a whole bunch of mess. But on the other hand, for those that truly want to figure out that why, it mm-hmm. pushes you even more to be yeah. like, okay, yeah. like, before I post this, I might have to uninstall my Instagram, whatever, and get my mind right and make sure my mm-hmm. mind's right before I post this, knowing that when I post it, I'm not going to take it down yeah. because I didn't get a certain amount of likes. Or I'm going to believe in this and stand on this and whatever. Because yeah. you're literally, social media to me is literally the, it can be like the 
the the anxiety itself. Does that make sense? I think it's the catalyst or the catalyst well. itself. Yeah. So you the have driving to, you know, force. It's like <laughs> people. So you tap that logo, you like. <laughs> you're literally stepping into. You're going back to like, check to see right, if people liked it, right? And even weirder than that, you're going to look to see who liked who exactly. liked it. So what I'm saying yeah, is, yeah, that you have to take. <laughs> that's weird because it's so we weird. because it's so weird, and it is. Even what I'm about to say is like how, the, the my fault. How are you? I'm 33. See, so we grew up in an era. Without We're, all this stuff, that's why it's weird to us. Yes, exactly. That's why it's weird the to kids, us because like, we come, we we come, and I, and I was like, I was cool for this. real. I was just telling yeah. my friend this. I was like, like, I was like, I think I was talking to my cousin. And I was just like, it's just so weird because I feel like I'm like in the middle of this. This I either conform mm -hmm. or I stand my ground on what I know mm -hmm. is, is 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 that's weird. You know, that's not. Normal. That's weird. Not, that, that's because a weird space. If you stand, if you stand space. your ground on something like, all right, I'm standing my ground on this. I'm not moving, and it don't work. Like exactly. See, like, so it's like <laughs> you know, we were potting for two years, right? <laughs> two. Look, at the end of the day, I'm not saying. Look, I'm not saying that she's you like, don't. all right, you might have to do the dumb shit. No, <laughs> but, but I'm, I'm saying, about to start a fight but, on this. But, shit. But why does it have to be? Why does it have to be that specifically? Like. You can still tap into because it, you, you gotta, can still tap into because like, of that. There's algorithms. It, people don't. Sh people do not share your stuff. I know, but people and people will like look at it. Mm -hmm. It'd be your closest people. It'd be like the people that like you a one day one whatever slogan you want to no, call it. That is true. That they is will true. look at it. Like you'll post something. You'll say, for instance, you just look at who's who viewed it or you know or whatever. You'll see they looked at it. No, I, and I, they will I, I, not I, press the like. They will not subscribe. You know this because you're in. You're they don't in, pay attention to it. You be like, yo, you see my last interview? No, I ain't watching, bro. Your biggest supporter is <laughs> not the people that you grew up around. No, no they're not. No. That's fact. They're just not. I they're strangers. So now That's you, facts. now we have to create a platform. We're, you know, before we were trying to get people we knew. That was a mistake. Like That's you said, we learned a lot along the way. You learn a lot in all these journeys, like trying to do creative stuff, right? And I'm like I said, you even as an interviewer, you kind of came. I mean, you know, you know me kind of now, but you came in here kind of nervous the first time. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying this is a whole different. We in a whole different space, right? Right. And we've been potting. I think as a, a podcast, I'm a little bit more polished, mm -hmm. but it's like, yo, you're trying to figure out how to like make this thing go. Because if it go, now we got a room full of people. We right. got a guy that doesn't mind painting now, the camera. Now, now it's oh, I, I fought with you from the beginning, bro. Facts. No, no, you didn't. I just saw you like the first page uh, the other day. I saw you. So, I saw you start the journey of liking the, the pod, bro. I saw it. So you, I've literally had this conversation with people. You, you, you lost the IG, right? I lost the IG. You had songs before that. Now it's now it's a whole different wave. You you in a whole different bag, but now you're pushing everything yourself, right? So you kind of like I I put what? ninety percent of this together myself. So I feel I, with the journey we here on that. But but if you look, where's no but? I'll say, in addition to what you're saying, everything that I've been doing, I've still been doing it. To, it still looks and feels like Nia De Nero, yeah, yeah. But it's still I mean, within. It's all look and it's feel still, the same. But it's still within a wave. No, I'm saying as far as like content, it's like you don't necessarily have to. No, this is just how I see it. You don't necessarily have to talk about the things you really don't want to talk about, yeah. but you can still finesse it in a way that's still you. Yeah. That's still. That's still. I think at the end of the day, y'all might have to. I mean, do what I did. Just kind of go back to the drawing board, re-strategize how- This is the drawing board, no, no, Where you literally- You can't board. see the drawing board. It's <laughs> drawing on it. How, like you, hell. How, you, how you tap into the wave, yeah. but structure it in a way that still ties into <laughs> what y'all were trying to yeah. do. Because I, I think, feel like, for, well, I feel we, like we want to get this back to you anyway. We don't talk about right. us. We talk about you. Yeah, yeah. It's not about it. We, we really we're talking right now. We're talking about just the, the, the grind of being a creative, right? right? I'm gonna okay. pick it back starting from the from zero. Okay. Right, and yeah. then you're, you're already you're not you know nowadays it's like oh they are not famous or you are not rich or shit I'm low key rich and niggas don't fuck with me I'm telling you this is a scary game right <laughs> anyway I didn't fuck with you before you were rich though yeah, that's a fact see okay. I'm consistent I appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> so can you um and people are gonna see this after your performance because it's tonight obviously right right, um, right can you give them the the, the ones that is it, oh, it's gonna be virtual, right? So they'll be able to go back and see it. Yeah, you they, gotta send they, me face, the link so I can stream it live, Facebook, or the Red Room VA. Oh yeah, you gotta send me that so I can. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna send you all so I can uh, connect it so people can go back to it. But yes, mm -hmm. just give us a little preview, like what you got in store. Preview, like a virtual, like what? What's the idea? The idea. 
We ain't actually perform. I know. Uh, no, like, no, 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 like, no. That costs like, money. No, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> no, like set, like set the stage. No. Okay, like, this is so, what you so this do. is this is the vision. This is the vision. Um, the the goal, honestly, with this, like the the whole set, is really just to let them know that I've been doing this. Yeah. Um, which is why I'm so excited for a 30 minute set mm -hmm. because a lot of the shows that I've done, uh, just recently or just in general. You get up there, you do your single, or yeah. you know, you get off, you do your two singles, and that's that. You tell them to follow you, and that's yeah. that. Yeah. But this is an opportunity for me to actually show people like a performance, like a, like the catalog. Yeah. Like I'm play some stuff from 2015, 2016, mm -hmm. and kind of lead them into 2020, and then end it out See, that's where what we I was are now. You give us perfect. You know what I See? mean? That's that's the goal. Like I like like so my thing. One of the things I love, I love. I'm a very conceptual mm -hmm. thinker. Like I love concepts and themes, and it's yeah, like even yeah. on albums, like we talked last time. I love interludes. Like oh, I yeah, miss the way I miss like the like 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 real inter interludes and albums and, skits. and, and themes. They used to give us skits. skits, bro. Skits in the middle of skits the album. In the that's middle. fire. And said, that's why I loved um, Tory Lanez out the the which what was the one where he had like a whole skit. Oh, I didn't he like did that it. one. He that was too many skits. I know Alvin Tony. You Wait, remember the Tory had the 10 skits on that album. On one song. I mean, one album. Concept, it was just the, the idea of him saying to himself, like, okay, I want to really create a like an, a, a, yeah, an experience. You know what I mean? Like, so well, no, that's all I am. You talking about Chicks Tape 5? Because he had some good skits on Chicks Tape, but no, it wasn't too no, much. No. But he had an album like the every with, other the song. Love on skit. It. The yes. one with Love on Yeah, it. that was too many. And was he was pretty much like, if you listen to the interludes by themselves, it tells the story or something, yeah. something like that. Yeah, we didn't need that tour. But that's, that's, <laughs> that's why I am. So yeah, so with this show, I just really want people to leave just knowing like, okay, all right. Nia De Nero. Let me let me find like I ain't know about her, but now I do. <laughs> yeah, we gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna secure that link for y'all so because you they'll be able to go back and watch it after it's live. They yeah they should be able to go back. All right, and bet. Watch. So y'all yep. can go back. It's gonna be in the description somewhere. Um, you doing so super Nia tonight? Out. I'm doing super Nia. I knew it. See, look. We doing super Nia. We're doing this track La Familia. Mm -hmm. And some of those songs like you got any guest appearances? Three of those songs. I don't have any guests. Um, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna, gonna show up and rap. That's gonna be the you next show. Just like I said, no. Pull up and I'm gonna show up and rap. Look, this one, they, gotta, they gotta, they gotta, look. I need them to know who I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope. I need them to know who I am. So, you know, strategy though. You could have got somebody to come through, and then they their following comes to watch the whole thing because that person's on there. That's true. See, well, yeah. when I'll do it again. And we'll do this thing. I could help you with the management side, man. See that? Don't be look. look don't be look be saying stuff like that. Look. Yeah. I'm about business. <laughs> okay, we'll talk after the show. I'm about business. We'll talk after the show. Oh, and a little update for y'all, because y'all are here to watch Nia De Niro. Just another podcast. Hoodies is on the way. Only, only black this run. Thank God, because people. I, I'm so tired of people asking me. You're I needed to. I needed to make sure that the demand was there, because when I order them, coming out. I want to sell all forty. Oh, those. they're going. <laughs> they're going. Yeah, trust me. I appreciate it. yo. Hey, you need one. I got. I, do, I get at least. I got at least ten people that want one. Bet. Say less. No question about it. No Seriously. question about. They're on the way. Bugging. Where's the Nia merch at? Where's the meditation? I need at? that. That is. So I'm actually working on that as we as speak. a young artist from the jump. I'm merch working is on the that as we speak. Yeah. No, it is. It is. That's why. That's why we're gonna get a talk. line. With that's why we're gonna talk merch. about this show. <laughs> merch. <laughs> We need that merch, we need that shirt. Already got the ideas, already got the need plan. I just need to lock it in. Definitely. Merch. That's gonna be fire though. Definitely. What kind of idea you got for that merch? This is gonna I can't tell weird. you. I'm just don't tell him. Don't tell him. He's gonna make it. No, and, and I'm not gonna make it. Copyright it. And you gotta that come to him like yeah. to get yeah. to meditate. Yeah. If you, if you want to meditate, I'll give it to you. No, they're gonna be, they're gonna be dope. I got, this, I got this really, I'll tell you after the show. Cool, I got this cool, dope concert. Cool. How you gonna mess up my swindle, man? Damn, no, man. I can't let her get swindled, bro. Come on, bro. I was gonna cut you in a piece of it and you messed wanna, it up. I don't wanna be a part of this swindle. You fine. All money, not good money. Shit, me. No, I ain't. Okay. Anyway. Um. When's the next, like, when's the, you got another project cooking up? You got another single, another video? What's next? So, um, Call oh, sorry. No, um, right now, so December, the month of December is just really just preparing for the top of the year. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
um, definitely traveling. I definitely want to hit Atlanta and, and LA Gotta and be in start Atlanta. performing yeah. in, in New York. And so we're setting that up now as we speak. I was actually asked, actually on Friday, I was asked to perform at the uh, Nova Fest. It's mm-hmm. like a music ah, fest, shit. but it's for the Northern Virginia area. Mm-hmm. Oh, fire. Um, which would be, it's going to be crazy because that's actually in my hometown. Mm-hmm. So I'm definitely going to be able to tap into just like the home base, like that's the home, home base. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so that's on Friday. So that's pretty much going to end out the month of November. This upcoming Friday. Yeah, like. Oh, Nova Fest is this coming this up? Yeah, like this Friday. Oh. So, so is it the whole weekend or just Friday? Just that Friday. Okay. Just that Friday. Um, just right. a, a local. Uh, you local... said this Friday or next Friday? This Friday. This Friday. Coming up. What time are you performing? Who's that? The third. I'm performing on. He's putting me on the. I got to see when I where I fall on the list. Okay. I starts at six. No. It's like six thirty. No, I'm just saying because I might have to, to now. I might have to go home and like cut this up and put it out so that we can let people know that you can I be mean, at Nova Fest yeah. on Friday. But then I got another episode to drop, so I'm gonna have to drop two in one week. So look, I'm gonna be at Nova Fest um, this Friday. What is that? December third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it starts at six thirty. Definitely come through. Definitely lock in, and it's, it's gonna be a vibe. So yeah, that I'm excited for that because that will literally close out my November, and then December is the holidays. Yeah, yeah. just kind of regrouping. I've been moving so much that I'm actually looking forward to kind of relaxing Showing a little bit a little in bit December, yeah. and then and and setting the tone. You know, January. You know, the goal is to really just make. You know what? The goal for the New Year's is just is to really capitalize on some major business opportunities. Do you have like a quantifiable goal? Mm. Here at the Just Another Podcast, we talk quantifiable goals. Mm. Right. Give me some examples. Vocabulary. So, like, if you were saying to capital, capitalize on the business, mm-hmm. I would say, like, we were just talking about merch. So, I'd say, I want to get my first thing of merch out, and I want to be able to gross a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars off that. Like, a hundred dollars. No, no, I'm, one dollar shirts. <laughs> <laughs> that's if the that, move. If that gets the name out there, <laughs> if it costs, hey, if bro, it costs how much you twenty five dollar, if bro. it costs you twenty five cent to sell it, then that's a lick. Yeah, it is. <laughs> But what I'm saying is th- there's not there's something that we can measure there versus like we just be like, oh man, we're going out, we're gonna do business. Well, what kind of business? We wanna do merch. We wanna definitely do, some do shows. We definitely wanna... wanna do merch. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanna get a booking agent. Yeah, yeah. I wanna be able to to, you know, booking agents, they range. You know, you have bigger booking agents where you yeah. can ask for twenty five thousand a show and then it does. Then you have smaller ones where you can ask for five thousand a show. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I wanna be able to definitely Ask for some in the thousands. Yeah, for my see, shows. that's a quantifiable goal. Um, so definitely, yeah, get a booking agent. I want to get my first major placement. Yeah. Um. Right now, I actually have. See, that's a quantifiable goal. Yeah. I like um. You know, mel- uh, mel- uh, what did I say Melaton. I was about to say. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Meditate. Peloton. You about to go to Meditate. Sleep? Peloton. <laughs> Meditate would actually be perfect for what is it? Peloton. Yeah, Peloton. <laughs> so um, I'm weak. <laughs> Meloton. <laughs> hey. Peloton. You never know. <laughs> hey, that might be a little flipping around at a time. You know, no fitness for the. What do you think of? Um, but yeah, merch placements. Dope. Um, dope. No, we gonna really uh tap into in acting. the new year, huh? Sorry. Oh, acting. No, I was just saying we want to talk to people about setting real, like quantified. Like my no, girl, she it. just became a real estate agent. So I saw that. Uh, my girl, Caitlin. Oh, beautiful. Shout out to Caitlin. Let's hand clap. Yeah. But like we said, a quantifiable <laughs> goal, like, yo, I want to sell 15 houses in the first year. No, I love it. I love so you it. Got, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to either hit that or fall short, but you set a number. Set a goal, yeah. saying like, I want to sell houses. No shit. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> duh. Yeah. That's right. your profession. You know <laughs> no, I received And that. I think a lot of people in our that. community, we set goals, but we don't set like real, like we don't set real goals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like our goal, like, yo, we want to get a thousand subscribers. We want to get 10,000. Like, you got to set goals in it. That's how you... Yeah, I, I know a lot of musicians like that. And yeah. they'll be like, oh, I just want to be a rapper. Yeah. Okay, to do what, bro? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want... You have a message you want to get out? You want to sure. reach how many people? You want to yeah. sell how many set records? Because a, a placement can be a lot of stuff. Like, my homegirl, Opal, she got her song played on uh, Insecure. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you could get your... Shout out to Opal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, she was know, the theme for a while. She Don't, just had, shout out, she having a baby. That's crazy. Honestly, yeah, though, it's crazy. I mean, one of the first things that I said aside from artists and songwriters is a creative. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, top of the year, like 2022, I'm planting seeds and. See, meditate would have been fire on this season or insecure. We pushed it. We tried it, to push it. Man. It didn't make it. Mm, you got to. Not that it didn't make you gotta, it. It was, just, it was too late. Nah, honestly. Issa be, uh, that shit on her man. iPod. You got to, like, hack her yeah, iPhone right. yeah, to get that song yeah, to for real. It would have been, been perfect. I mean, meditate, honestly. 
I feel like that 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 that's a special. One. I could definitely hear that. It's song definitely going. that it's scene where they running up the hill. Mm-hmm. Like I think it was the first episode. Mm-hmm. Could have been right there. But definitely. We gonna get. We gonna speak that placement into existence. Yeah. We speak. They missed the opportunity. It's okay. You but no, it's a, I mean, it. it's a lot of people that like. She had she has something placed on Dear White People. Mm-hmm. She had something placed on a, a movie on Netflix. Like, there's a lot of opportunities. Shit, they was playing one of her songs at Adidas store. Like, mm-hmm. people don't think and about stuff about like places, that. Think about places. All you need is one. All you need, all is, you one. need all is one. All you need is one. You get places. your shit placed in Macy's and it's, and it's, it's a it's wrap. wrap. You oh, good? Yeah. Like it's you good? Over. And you Everybody, just... but I heard that somewhere. Yeah, so yeah. that's what we're doing. We're definitely we're gonna get a placement. Um, like I said, I'm I'm actually working on get my headshots now. Fire. So definitely gonna tap into just my my whole theme is like why not me. Fact. That's the mindset. Why not me? So, you said acting too? Acting. You yeah. going to act? I'm going to act. You talking like BET special I'm type like shit? Or talking, Tyler Perry talking, play? Talking, like, like what you doing? Show, series. Will it Hall. HBO, <laughs> Stars, Netflix. I'm trying yeah. to do Netflix something. Okay. <laughs> what kind of you see yourself as a, like if you see yourself, at, is it actor or actress? We actress. Think? Actress. I don't, I think we're not supposed to say actress anymore. I don't know. We can't say actress anymore? Bro, it's a lot of things we're not saying. Oh, my God. You're supposed to say actor? Yeah, like, you're a female actor. Are you a part of that? <laughs> Are you a part of the pronoun gang? I just, she, her, you, him, the, me, you part they, of the gang? there. I mean, can't, I'm... Can't she don't want to actually like nobody. Can't She's say, not, can't not, say not, female. Not. Nah, we got you. We'll get okay, you about cool. there. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't putting cool. me in we'll this fire. <laughs> Just, nah, but it's some people <laughs> that be like, fire. no, I'm not. I'm an actor. You're an actor. We're actors. I'm not an actress. No, you're an actress. Yeah. And I'm an actor. No, I'm, t- I'm just telling no, you. It's no, it's no, educate y'all. Yeah, it's no statute to well, either one of them. If you call me an actress, I would not be offended. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay. okay. If you call cool. me an actress, cool. I would not be Very offended. What kind of it. actress do you, <laughs> do you see yourself in a comedic role? Are you like on a drama? Like, could you guest spot on Succession mm. or something? You want to get in on the second season of BMF? They just off. Oh, shit. Spoiler alert. Mm. Honestly, I can see myself. <laughs> if they ain't seen it by now, it don't matter. No, I ain't going to That was that. two weeks ago. You should have seen it, but I you should have been seeing it. Like a sports movie, a sports movie, like okay. a movie where I play like a. Y'all ain't know Nia used to. Like a, y'all a, ain't know a, she used to hoop. Like a y'all ain't know that, did y'all? She used to or hoop. Just something. I don't know. Like if they ever made like a a, a female Creed or something, <laughs> or some. Oh, you want a box too? No, I'm just you saying, knocking hoes out. I'm saying, I'm saying. Those types of movies. I want a big blockbuster, big movie. I Unpopular want that, opinion. I want something that really shows that I Uh-oh. can act. Michael can B. Jordan stunts. is not a good actor. Who? Michael B. Jordan. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, you about to get... All I know is Creed is one of my favorite movies. So don't be Creed is a good movie. Creed was great. Fruitvale not... Station was great. Fruitvale Station was really good. Great. Y'all think he's a good his actor? New I didn't say, his I... new movie is going to be really good. Whatever. Like, I watched. I, I watch all his Here movies. recently, he's been like a retired... Uh, policeman or army, like yeah, I watched the one. I don't on, know why he keeps uh, doing that on uh, Amazon. Yeah, and the the next one was he's like in was in army, wasn't he? Or some yeah, some military? Yeah, because that's more yeah. action. You don't gotta act. Yeah, exactly. You don't gotta speak. Exactly. Action. You don't gotta be riveted. You know, <laughs> I don't you know have to mean? be in depth or nothing. Yeah. I just gotta be that's so, great body. So y'all agree? Do with a whole me. bunch of stunts and yeah. everybody will like it. But ultimately, I want to be in an action movie though, like on a Marvel or something like that. Oh word! I want something crazy. That'd be fire. Like yeah. something that's just action packed. Like you're like something like that. Okay, Zendaya. You know. Marvel. We got somebody trying to holler at y'all. I'm serious. You know what I'm Man, my ass is in the gym enough. I like you said, why that not shows, me? Like the athleticism. You what? do be in the gym. No, like you said, why not me? Why not they me? can do it. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. I'd be seeing you in the gym like, nah. won't let this shit happen to me though. <laughs> <laughs> How do y'all niggas be in the gym? It'd be a lot of girls that go to the gym, get their flicks off, and leave, though. Mm-hmm. That is true. I, Bruh, I walked into the gym. This is like two years ago. Walked into the gym. Girl walks in the same time as me, puts her bag down, gets on the elliptical, goes like this, steps off, takes the bag, dips. <laughs> I said, I know this is not reality, bruh. I've seen it a couple of times. <laughs> they do that a lot. That's not you, is it? Because it looks like you really work. No. I mean, No. Okay, I mean, no. I don't be Does saying, it look like I don't be saying you sweating, bro. You're an entertainer, so we gotta be wary of what right. you're, you're feeding no, us on. But I'll do sometimes, sometimes I'll get my workout in, mm-hmm. and then if I need to shoot content or whatever, then I'll come in like after mm. the workout and do that. But I always get the workout in. Okay. I'm serious, and I got. I a, believe you. And I got a trainer, so he won't be playing. Okay, nah, he be man. tracking me. Y'all pop in on her sessions, man. Facts. See if she really <laughs> see her in there, boy. Right, in there, bullshit. Two in, two. No, I ain't bullshit. Two in, two in. 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 Two
bullshit. Nah. <laughs> it's for content. You right. It's my off day. <laughs> I had hell to post this. No, mm-hmm. hell. You can't not. be talking about meditating. You ain't you ain't exercising. Exactly. Stuff. So I mean, exactly. I I stay in the We need room. we need it's to figure funny. out if you're telling the truth. I love no, her. No, I, 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 I believe I believe. I think she's I think she's telling the truth though. I've seen her actually do be athletic, so I believe her. Don't try to play me. You can hoop. He's saying you can hoop. I've seen her play. I'm a little rusty, but I can. Oh, okay. I'm serious. If I didn't have my nails. Norfolk State Intramurals. I've seen it. Oh, you seen it? She's a bucket or is she like on the court? She's, no. not, she's not me, but okay. Shut she's up. good. <laughs> I'm saying we no, like, honestly, we're a bucket. I'm me, a bucket. When you saw me back in college. Though, I'm like, give me ISO Joe. Get out right, the way. Get out the way. No, back in college, I was I was definitely hooping a little more than I was now. Mm-hmm. I'll so. give you an idea of who she plays like. I'll give you an idea. She's a point. Okay. Naturally. Um, let's see. Not to the level of greatness, like, but the style of play. I would say she's more like a, a Chris Paul, like a conductor. Here, let me get you in the here, here. I, I can also break you down. I can score too. That kind of player. I think that's high praise. No, not, again, it's not the truth. Not, not. <laughs> he couldn't. He can't think of like a, a dude that comes on the court. I'm, no, I'm just, whoever Chris Paul's backup. I thought he was gonna you know, give you like a WNBA player. I thought he was gonna. Put this. I was Look, just saying, playing. We, style. we would love to be able you, to. I can give you that too. Give you a couple of those. I can but give you a Skylar Diggins too. She's Skylar. Skylar plays God, plays good defense. Man. Gets everybody in their sets where they need to be, but she can also score too. This guy is a bucket. I, I take it. You make me want to get back in there. Dust the dust off. We ain't gonna sit and talk hoops with y'all. Anyway. <laughs> what? So what? I told you we was gonna get into this influence too. Influence. Oh yeah, go for so it. you said influence first love, episode. Oh yeah, whatever. Love. Yeah, go make sure y'all check out. I put it up earlier. I don't know if I can do it twice, but go check out that first episode with Nia Denaro. Yes. When I listen to my natural hair popping. Your influence or your sound, and I see like you going in between, you know, how we were talking about Drake goes in between singing, mm-hmm. rapping, but you're not either of those. Mm-hmm. You're not a rapper or a singer. I see a lot of, I don't know if this is a compliment. I, I think it's a huge compliment, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I see a lot of Tiana in you. Tiana Taylor? I see a lot. I, a lot. I hear a lot. I, I see a lot. I'm like, okay, let me see. Let me probe and see if she's. You know, maybe not directly an influence no, like yo. But I I'm know, a- I know, I know exactly. <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying. I mean, I've always respected Tiana Taylor. It's just she got that swag, that cool. She cool. She just cool. cool as fuck. She just she's chill. Cool. Yeah. Like she's a trendsetter. You know what I mean? Um, she can. So yeah, I de- that's yeah. definitely a compliment. Okay, um, cool. Because I mean, if some y'all people don't, like, some people don't like her in this whole thing. Some people no, don't like. Some people no, don't like I, Tiana I Taylor. Tiana, which is Tiana, and it's it's unfortunate that she didn't feel. That she that she had the support that she 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 should have had as an artist because she's a really really dope. Artist. She didn't. I mean, from the label. No, no, she she didn't. Yeah. I'm, I, it's, that's all. unfortunate because she's a dope artist. And then my thing, not to stay on her because it's clearly your interview, but I hate when people mismanage artists when you're like you're you're constricting them. Like mm-hmm. yeah. even the even the album uh, keep the same energy. Mm-hmm. It was an amazing project, but. Everything was condensed. Everything was a minute and some change. When it's like, yo, can we get some three some minutes? ballads? Some yeah, can we hear her vocal range? Can we like you didn't hear any vocal range until like the never would have made it song. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like management and people around you can constrict you as a artist. Yes, can you speak to that yes. just a little bit? I know because you don't have management, but you speak really your just own management. signing it to somebody. Yeah, Say that too. Because really, like. She has her own vision, but then Kanye had a vision for her project. So right. at the end of the day, he does have like an executive. He can make an executive decision over what they put out. Mm-hmm. So not only just uh, to his first question, which was, what was your first question? Oh. I forgot now. Anyway, <laughs> um, not just about, uh, but signing in general, right? Like mm-hmm. right now you don't have any management. You're doing your own thing. Say that check comes. Mm-hmm. A million. Just a million. No, it's just, it's just a million. No, it should go fast. That's the million face? Yeah. Yes. Just, just okay. I'm telling you, the million is the new broke money. I'm not, I'm trying to. It, it, That's it impossible. No, I don't care not. what you say. But it kind of. Okay. Is, All right, cool. It, it is. But cool. It's Continue what you're saying. <laughs> they, they, they put a million up. Obviously, and you got to recoup that anyway, but um, now you've given up some of that executive power. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about 
about that? How would you feel about signing? Would you rather, would you want to be in a, a situation with a label? Or would you, would you want be to indie? maintain your independence? Like, what you want to do? Mm. Indie sign. Indie sign. What are we doing? I mean, I feel like in, in even in, in an indie situation, um, I just want a solid team that team is business that, minded. Yeah, very important. I feel like if you have the right team, because even if you look at an artist, a lot of the main pieces they main pieces to keep to keep the machine moving mm-hmm. is 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 booking agent, having a good lawyer. And then they, I don't know, now it's kind of, kind of seems like the whole management, you have some people who feel like, oh, you can, you need a manager. Then you have other yeah. people that are like, oh, you don't need I think it all depends on how much business you got coming manage, in. I think everyone manages, I think manage is just, you're managing even when you're not thinking you're managing. That's mm-hmm. how I feel. I feel like at the end of the day, for me, I look at the work that I'm doing now mm-hmm. and it has a price on it, even without me being signed. Yeah. It has a price. Like Everything does, yep. Because even just. Cause you can, you can, cause the, my quality, my mind, like the strategy, the structure, the music, the amount of time that I spend actually putting out a certain type of sound yeah, and video content yeah, and yeah, video. So sure. it wouldn't even make sense for me to just allow just anyone to just take me and just give me anything. Like at yeah. this point, if you don't see the vision, like if you don't see how we is bigger than the money, but money's important, but I want someone to see me and be like, damn, I want to invest. Like we can, yeah, yeah. I don't want just the money aspect. I want you to see, man, like this is a trailblazer. Like we can really, really. Most people is looking for the, just a check. They not, they, they might have a vision to a point. They might think they're a dope artist. And obviously most of, most of my purview is probably from like seeing these up and coming rappers more than like you're doing, you're doing, you're in a mm-hmm. whole different vein than most of them are. Mm-hmm. Right. But most of them, they they want to see if they can get a check. They want to go get signed somewhere. But you can get the check. You can get the check you, and be indie. You can get the check. That's a long grind. Every, you know though. what I've noticed? It is. You know, you know what my my situation that I was in has showed me and taught me. Mm-hmm. You can think of checks. You can get the money, the check, da da da. But that doesn't mean that people understand strategy. No, it for doesn't sure. mean mm-hmm. people know how to create a plan. Like you can literally have all the money in the world, have the finances, have everything, mm-hmm. and I can literally, as an artist, give you a product. You can say, "I want you to create this." All right, me being the type of artist I am, person I am, I'm disciplined. I'm this and this and whatever. Like I'm gonna do it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get it back to you in great timing too. I can get it, put it right in your hand, and you can do absolutely nothing with it because yeah. you know nothing. You, you have all this money, but you don't even know what to do. You don't know who to give it to. You don't have the access to get it to anybody or to yeah. push it. And even without the resources that you, even without the resources, you don't have the the go getter or the know how to create the resources mm. and the opportunities. You so for me, again. I just no. That's really that's really that's one real. of the biggest lessons that I've learned. It's like. Yeah. You, you, I like instead of the money, I rather have the creativity, the strategy, the management skills, the 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 ability to think outside the box the power. as well as inside the box. Because with that, with those pieces, I can give you a product, and we can create five, ten different ways on how we can make this money. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But if I'm sitting and, ha- and I'm having a conversation with you, and you tell me you got this money. But I'm still doing it by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's what's the point? Like, <laughs> if I was an artist, I'd want the money in to do it by myself. That's what I'm saying. I want. It's a lot of people that that take that route. Like Nip, for example. Mm-hmm. Nip had distribution. You're name all the outliers, though. I'm, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm, anybody, I, anybody can do it. Like Nip said it himself. The only thing, the only distinguishing quality is that he just didn't quit. Yeah. Like people will start the grind. And then they won't have, they won't get the fast result and quit. Like you have sure, the product, but you, you have. Think, hold, hold, go ahead. Because he's an outlier one. But then we got to think of before Victory Lap, bro was at it for. He's at it. How long he's at before it? Before Victory Lap, he was already selling an album by himself. No, by we, I know, I know that for a hundred. We know that. Yeah, we know the story. But I'm saying even that that was a grind though. Yeah, like <clears throat> most people now, they think like, how long it took the baby to really get on. I want to say like, what, like four or five years. It took, it took a while, but it's easier now though. But four like or five at, years today. now, even today, people that's that was today. That's today. All right, people think that people think it's like instant, no, you, like instant, like oh, I can get on. You can. Even Danny Lay, you got to think she was doing that dancing you, and stuff for you, a minute before. Not really. She, what's a not really? What's a minute to you? What's the first time? What's the first time we saw her? 
I saw her dancing on something. I know, and I'll tell you. I'll know. tell you what it is. This was years ago. I just like who's that fine little lights? That down? Kiki. Do you no, love? No, I seen her before. That's, that. I'm talking about the world. The world. Oh, as well, far I'm as saying, the but world. See, that's that's when the the maturation and everything popped. She was yeah. kind of on before that. She wasn't on though. She was. Like, people didn't even know who that was. So they're like, who's that light skinned girl dancing? Oh, they're dumb. That's what I'm saying. See, they, that's so, part of the grind. Yeah, I knew but, who she was before that. But she wasn't on. But she didn't get on until. After that, now she she's had on. She a blue check and she had been, I've seen yeah, A lot of people have blue checks because they look good to people. That's not, that don't mean you're on. Mm-hmm. I know a million people that's on what Facebook and IG and Twitter. They have blue checks and nobody know, gives a fuck about what they're doing. I would rather be that person. Anyway. <laughs> nobody cares. Yeah, yeah. She could put out 10 songs right now and nobody would care. Yeah, nobody would care now. But I'm saying to... to it's still she. I'm. T- she or was, when you saw her dance, the, I'm sorry. Years ago. Yeah, when you saw her dance, she could have put out ten before, songs and nobody would care. Nobody would have cared. Uh, she only got one song that people care about. What's hmm. I know? No, that takes it easy. This is taking fire. it all the way back. The acoustic to, version to is fire. fire. Well, go ahead. Yeah, I'm about to say you were trying to hate on her. Still, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm sorry. We gotta go back to Nipsey real quick. Yeah. I think the piece that always sticks out to me is even though Nipsey did his thing, he had his he had a t- he had his brother. Yeah, exactly. he had a team, and that's team. that 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 made all the difference because even when Nipsey and they was, was getting money another way, see people don't want to tell no, it. No, but that because you that, you have that, more. That, that's you have, that's you know, so. Oh, yeah. let's make it tech, right? When you go into a tech okay. industry, you got a, a algorithm, you got a program, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have a you, you go to a VC um, and try to get funding. Mm-hmm. Even when every time you get money, you have a certain length of runway with that bread this before you have to get another round of funding. This mm-hmm. is true. Anybody that's doing it. So if you're Nipsey and I'm getting money over here, my runway's longer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I can do my own thing here and sell a couple copies of my, my junk here. I'm hustling in the street. I, that's That creates a longer runway. Yeah. So you, I, that's my, that is to your point and to my point. My point is that you could be independent. And have the power and to do it yourself, but it's all about how hard you want to grind. Yes, he's doing; he's making his runway like longer than other people because they're not doing what he's yeah. doing. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying you have to do something illegal or you know, whatever. Even Dolphin on them; they was getting Ex- money. Another other person, ways. I'm getting money in other ways, so yeah. I'm going to make. So I I'm can do this exactly. independent thing longer. So, but when you're doing it and you're paying for studio time, yeah. paying for the video, yeah. well, do you drive, really want to be an artist? You got you got to ask yourself that. You got to yeah, sit yourself down and ask. Grab that really money when it come as soon as it comes. Um, but it, don't you, mean, it, it don't even be a million. You're putting to, yourself, if we're gonna be real, yeah, it don't even be. You're a putting yourself in that position though, because if you're not grinding, when that money does come, it's like, oh yeah, I gotta take that. You it's, you but have you no choice like but to take it too. But I think it's both. I think it's both, and this is going off of my own experience because if if I never, if I wouldn't have gone through, and that's why I thank God all the time that I, he's he's allowed me to experience certain things before I made it. Mm-hmm. And not understand like not everyone gets that opportunity. That's for sure. Um, it, because there's certain things that I've already experienced without even being in the industry that's allowed me to be able to say what I said to you about like when you asked me if if I was offered this much money, what would I do? Yeah. Like who's to say I would have I, I would be able to respond like that if I never would have gone through those experiences for, sure. for me to know. To not be desperate like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because some, some people... And, that, and I think that's the scary part. Like some people I don't even know, are, uh, know how to tap into people's desperation for you, things. To you, your vision might be worth more than a million. To the other artist, that vision, like, oh shit, I never thought I would see a million dollars in my life. And I that's why I, I can make my face at it. You I, when I, when that, you've seen you it, you be like, eh, that's not, it's not, it's like life, it's not, it's like, it's not life changing, it's like moment changing. Like, oh, for the moment, we'll be lit. And, and for some people, they rather they rather their life change for that moment. Nah. In, 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 no, yeah. there. I mean, some people, no, I, no, I, people, I agree with y'all, but you know I'm saying not nah, for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but there's just some people that are like, we don't know people's situations at the end of the yeah. day. Some people will and, ride that moment out for. And like, some people will ride that moment out. Fuck it, I lived it. So, <laughs> no, that's true too. Yeah, people, like, so I lived crazy. it, man. I touched the meal before. I've heard people say that I've touched the meal before, but where is it now, bro? It's gone. What, where do you have any thousands left? No, they be probably, hundreds. No, they be just that. telling me about the million you touched, huh? That's it. <laughs> no, I just I always like you. Know, I I like the business aspect of er, almost everything. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a capitalist. So <laughs> when I think of that, yeah, I think we've got that by now. No, I know people know, but <laughs> I don't. I don't shy away from it. I like yeah. I I like business. You so I like that. hearing how people would respond to certain things because that's to me that's not enough to like sell my rights to certain things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But to some people, like, it is. Mm-hmm. So we, I like speaking on it, especially like when people do tap into this and there's going to be people that are artists like you that are, you know, they might not be at the point you're at, right? Mm-hmm. They might be looking up to you like, damn, what was she? Oh, she said she wouldn't take it because of boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm. 
and you know, um, it's not chump change. It's not life change. It's not chump change. Mm -hmm. It's enough for people to be like, you know, when people ask those weird questions, would you do da 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 for a million? They be like, oh shit, it's a million dollars. I disagree. Mm -hmm. I think it is life changing. It depends on what you do with it. Moment change. It depends on what you do with it. It's, it's not think, enough for your family to be good for forever. No, no, I'm saying it depends on what you do with it. If I take that million and like really like blow it up to now I have millions, that's that was my that was my stepping stone. So it, it, it is life changing. It changed that mil that one million dollars changed my life. I agree with that point. I think where I am Most right now. Not doing that. Yeah, no, I think I'm where not. I am right people now. People tricking it off. I, I, <laughs> I want the access. Yeah. Over just the Cause that'll create longevity. Over just the money, like yeah. I want the I want the plan, the business yeah. plan. Yeah. If you can give me a business plan, and and if you can take, like I've had you know meetings and it's not whatever, and now I'm at a point to where a lot of what I'm already putting on the table, it's like you either get it or you don't. Mm -hmm. Some of it is not even hard for you to understand how yeah. you can make money yeah. off of what I'm doing. It's yeah. right there in front of your face. Yeah. So if you were, you know, I, some now I'm in certain spaces where. Just based off of what you're not saying and based off of what you are saying, yeah. I can already tell you don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't get it. Like, right. and that's cool and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think you just got to get to a point for any artist. I think you got to get to a point to where or you got to put your you got to go through the experiences enough to be able to know, to be able to read that type of stuff. Like, do they get it? No, they don't get my brand. And that's okay. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. They don't understand me as an artist. That's okay. That's fine. Do you like, think it's your responsibility to make them get it? No. No? I don't. I think I think in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. I think, no, I, I even take that back. I feel like the game has changed so much. We're now in a space to where you, you create your narrative. Like I said, you create your narrative. Yeah. You create your platform. You create whatever. Like, if... Like, I'm in my space. I'm not bothering nobody. You're in your space. You're not bothering nobody. But if you come to me and you're like, oh, man, I want to work with you. And I'm in my space. I'm doing my thing. I got my platform. I got this, whatever, whatever. Like, you should, like, to me, if you're coming to me, the conversation should just be, how can I get to know you better? It shouldn't yeah. be me dropping what I'm doing, yeah. trying to, you know, dissect what I'm doing to try to get you to understand me. <laughs> because I don't feel like, as far as, like, where we are in the industry... I don't feel like that's really the case anymore. Unless you, you so? unless you do want to, unless you do want to get signed to a label. I would say you're in a label position. Yeah, yeah, unless you're in a label position, unless you want a label position. But until you're in that situation, it's really like get your resources and do what you can with your yeah. resources. Most that's of them want to see you it. build your own machine first and then put the battery in the back. That's what I'm saying. Right. I feel like right now we're just put in a the space where everyone the is out <laughs> collecting their tools and this and whatever, and everyone's building their own whatever yeah. they're building. And that's why I was saying, like, at one point, you got to really do soul searching, like soul searching everything that you do now, because I'm building my thing my way. But I have to stand for that shit. I have to believe in it. Yeah. I have to believe in it more than anyone else believes it, because right. we are in a society in a time right now to where it's very easy for you to be fickle and to yeah. kind of be like, uh, I like it, but I don't know if it's going to. You understand what I'm saying? You got to no, stand on something. So. Yeah. That's just that's that's where I'm at. Like, and I don't want it to come across like I'm knocking to being signed to a label. No, nobody's knocking. Like I don't want to be signed. Da, da, da. I just want I want the right opportunity that matches the work that I'm already doing. I feel like I'm an asset, and I feel like I'm an asset because I will be able to sit next to or across from anyone that I work with, whether you're a manager, PR, um, in, like any as any aspect of business, mm -hmm. and I ain't gonna make it difficult for you. You're not dealing with someone who's just all you. You're confused. I don't know who I am. I don't know yeah. what I want to do. I don't know. It's like no. Like this is this is where I'm at. This is what I want to do. How can we capitalize off of this? This is what I've worked on. This is what I did. This is what I, you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. So with that, I feel like I have a lot to bring to the table, so I can speak a certain way and know that I don't have to have A B C D in order for me to still make certain types of moves and decisions. Dope. That with, makes any sense. With that, I. I I hear what you're saying, and I, I totally agree. I hate when I see artists that have that same mindset mm. before they get to the big meeting and boardrooms with these executives, mm -hmm. and then they just totally forget what they were standing on. Mm -hmm. They'll get into these meeting rooms, and these people will tell you, well, I, I, yeah, I like that, but uh, maybe we could just tweak it here, and mm -hmm. we'll get you to be a little bit more of this, and let's take this part away from you. Like, no, let the artist be the artist. Mm -hmm. That's what we were talking about, Meg, earlier. It's so disappointing to see, like, 
it's so disappointing and like kind of like proud to see like I saw Meg years ago rapping in a Texas cipher. Mm-hmm. Like with other Texas rappers, not known or nothing. I'm like, dang, this girl can rap. So I started looking at more of her stuff. I'm like, damn, she really can rap. Like she can go. Now that she has the big signing and the big following, mm-hmm. she's a totally com- Completely different artists. Not to say that she's a part of the business now. Yeah, not to say that growth is is wrong. Yeah, she got her own sauce. Right. I respect that. Hey, I respect that. You got your growth. <laughs> You're you are, I mean, a big time artist now. But for the people that followed you when you first started, it's kind of disappointing mm-hmm. because you lost what attracted us to you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I, I I completely don't listen to her music at all. So my point is I I hope that when your deal does come, because it's gonna come, mm-hmm. like the people are gonna come to you. Because I I really feel like you're that dope. I hope that you stand on your ground and stick to your principles and like, nah, I'm near D and this is how you're going to take me or nah, I ain't signing with you, bro. You know, I mean, that, that, that's definitely, it's, 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 I'll tell you this. This is what I will say. I understand the industry that I'm in Mm -hmm. and I understand that when I choose or if I choose to take it to a a major label industry label it it comes with give or take that's just a given it comes with give or take yet at the same time I think with with me um is or with them understanding is that I'm not here to read I'm not reinventing the wheel no. You know, it's not like I'm the first female artist to do things in this way, in a sense of mm-hmm. with a certain type of, um, I guess <clears throat> you say like what, like I don't know, integrity or something mm-hmm. like that. Like there have been other female artists that have done it. Yeah. Missy's done it. Aaliyah did it. Um, let the, you understand? There's, there's mm-hmm. her is. Doing I like it. how you picked that those names for association. But you know what I'm saying? Like her is doing. Like there's artists out there now that are doing it. Yeah. Like her. Is super super dope to me. Man, she's classy. This this right. that da, da 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 da. But she's in the game. We don't know what kind of decisions and stuff she had to make that were different from who she was. But it still taps into her. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it, we wouldn't know it. We right. still look at her as classy and this and that. Mm-hmm. So whatever I do, that's what I can. That's something I know that I will push for. For sure. Like I don't. I don't know. You don't know what you would do until you get in that situation. But what I do know is that. I have a list of people before me that did it. Yeah. So you can't say it can't be done. Yeah. And that's what I'm gonna stand on. And that's and that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna go off of. You know, I will say this, and I was thinking about it too. Like Beyonce, the one of the biggest artists, whether y'all agree or not, she's Beyonce. Yeah. No, nobody would artists. disagree that she's not the you know biggest. No, no, yeah. people disagree. That she's one of the biggest artists. Yeah, people. people. Yeah, so we're just gonna neither here nor there. Just skip over. It. Go yeah. ahead. Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce, we'll talk after. <laughs> the biggest artist. Like I was really thinking to myself, like even when people talk to me about, you know, compare me to different artists mm-hmm. and 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 you don't do this and you don't do that. Da, da, da. I'm like Beyonce. Honestly, she kept her class and integrity her whole entire career. Like in a sense of, she never just took her clothes off and did that and did that. Like she was sexy. She was sensual. Y'all don't think that. I agree. I don't. No, seriously. I, when you really I don't, think I don't about never. Beyonce, when you really I don't never about, see anything about Beyonce like she like when you really think about Beyonce naked. all the way from Destiny's Child. You seen, na- you seen Beyonce to where naked? she is now? Like she's never had. She, she she's did some, always like, kept wet it classy. T-shirt in the video type stuff. When what video when? was that? One of the videos. It was like raining and she had on the wet tee. What what video was this? I, gotta, I don't really watch. It's, anyway. it's, is this it's, early day Beyonce? It's, no, no, Beyonce. No. It's like. Me, this is like before Dan. Yeah, this about no, to be a whole no, bunch of Beyonce, bees in our fucking listen, listen, Hey, that means they watch it. I'm, I'm hyping B up. Look. I'm not dissing. Oh, now y'all trying to make it. I'm not dissing Beyonce. That's crazy. You're going to diss Beyonce, bro? Beyonce's a thought now. Wow. You take the biggest artist, Beyonce. She's always been tasteful. She's always been, you know what I'm saying? She's always kept a certain type of class and integrity and still been dope. And she's Beyonce. Yeah, she's Beyonce. So. Yeah, so that's what I can. That's what I can go off of. Yeah, I want to hear no Nia De Niro songs. Pussy popping and. Uh, but uh, I don't even. 
like, I, I I'm finessing this nigga. I, I do not want to hear that shit, bro. <laughs> but I would do hope. not come out with no song Please. like but that. But look, I would hope that <laughs> no scammer whoever songs. I work with, they wouldn't even bring that to the table because it'll almost be but like they too, are. too crazy. I know, if, if, you I know. if you accept anything, if you accept anything, they are. It, it, I know. Yeah, that sounds good, Nia, but uh, let's get it a more Cardi B-ish. Anyway. A little more urban. I was going to bring up Cardi B because when we were talking about Meg, I, I feel like Cardi's been the same. She ain't changed up. She hasn't changed one bit. But that's why But that's why but people... She, people that's didn't why gravitate towards people. her for music, though. Huh? People didn't gravitate towards no. Cardi B. And yeah, no, I follow her. her. I follow her Instagram yeah. before. Her. And she, still she was on Love and Hip Hop. She might not have to ever put out any music. She could just do TV. I don't, I don't, yeah, think, she, she, I don't think she has to. But I would people, watch her on television. She really doesn't have to do it. But anything. that's why people never understood why, you know, that's why she has the, you know, the haters and stuff that she has because people can't understand why she she makes it and she's made it but they don't she's understand it's because it's people fun. like her yeah like she's mastered like flawlessly without her even trying and she was always her. herself yeah, yeah. Cardi B yeah. was like uh she's like a her. yeah i like i love that she made it because mm-hmm. again i saw her before she was on love and hip hop before she got the grill done before all of that all she that. eating corn and shit on instagram and shit like she only has like 2k followers now she has like billion millions and shit but the thing is, she's like a it's like a good and a bad about her making it. Yeah. The good is you saw somebody that came from nothing and just like yo became a a rock star yeah. overnight. But then the bad thing is you saw somebody that came from nothing and became a rock star overnight. If you get what I'm saying, people think it's easy. People think oh, no, she did it. It took her year. No, I, that's what yeah, I'm saying. saying. People people, think, people they, think that they saw her on Love and Hip Hop and then now she's a big. Let's be real. Star. You guys are not as charismatic as Cardi B. No, you're not. You're not as funny. You're not as, yeah, as charismatic. Sorry. It's okay. You don't have I definitely me. think TV or film, or more so TV, I think she's going to she's gonna revamp She would kill that. She's reality TV her, show? Yeah, she's going to revamp herself in TV. Would you do reality TV? I don't know. It was, it's uh, staged. I really don't know. It's acting. I know that. Get your acting chops no, in. Right. But reality is different. <laughs> you got to be careful with reality because yeah. the, the, the right, wrong show, the right, wrong, sir, wrong, wrong, that. Right, wrong show can ruin you. Yeah, yeah. Like can really ruin you. We're gonna tap like, in and watch. Them. And they'll no longer look at me as the one who made meditate. They'll look at me as the one right. that was on uh, scamming you know. these niggas <laughs> <laughs> on VH1. Fuck these Scam niggas, these we niggas scamming. Yeah, nine exactly. p.m. Well, I'm tired. Oh, you good? We good? Um, yeah. Because I'm. I know I'm gonna play for fun when we go out. You said that was your favorite track, right? Yeah, it's my for me, it's my my favorite track. It seemed more personal. Mm-hmm. I like for me. You gonna well, have a lot of editing to do with this. Why? It's a long, it's a long interview. No, I ain't cutting none of this up. You better cut it. What you need cut no, out? No, we're not cutting nothing. <laughs> no edits. I'm gonna say it back, gotta be. You gotta say something egregious. Back to the old days. Like I had, oh. not, I had not sent here for a different thing, and he had said something he didn't want on. I had to cut, like cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, don't be having me. Uh, don't be cutting out the part where I talk about B, no, and, and chopping it. To and, where it and how like you I call Beyonce a thought? The beehive. Nah, he called Beyonce a thought. That's what he I said. Not, we heard him. That. So that's why you gotta be careful, ma'am. Is there anything else you want to tell the audience before we go? Um, <clears throat> tonight, eight p.m. Tune in they Facebook not Live. Not going to see this. Oh, they're not. I'm gonna put the link in the. How I'm, I'm gonna cut it up that quick and get it oh, done before right, eight right. o'clock. You're right. No, but just okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have a link at the bottom so they can. Thank you, Benny Boo. Yeah. <laughs> no, but just thank you all for your support. I mean, those that have been rocking with me and those that will start rocking with me after this and even after, like. It's a journey. It's a process, but follow I'm here on to IG. be. IG, it'll be all over. The yeah, screen. follow me on IG. Uh, mm-hmm. New page: Dinero dot Mia. D i n e r o dot Mia. Um, also, will be in the description. Also, will be in the subscription. The subscription. Description. Mm. <laughs> description. But subscribe. Definitely subscribe. subscribe. Mia Dinero dot. It's a whole Hennessy cut right here. Y'all don't even see. I know. She been drinking the whole day. Sorry, I wasn't. I wasn't drinking. I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. the It's the retainer. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you all for this opportunity. I'm really grateful to be, like, this is my second time on here. No so. doubt. You always got a seat. If you want to come and just sit in on a regular pod one oh, weekend definitely. when you're down here. I might have to, like, And we talk about dumb on. stuff, yeah. Yeah, because that's come a different through. vibe. Like, yes. we interviewing you, but when we pod and we just. Yeah, we need to talk about love and creatives. It should be called love and creatives or creatives and love or something like that. Relationships and creatives. Okay. okay. That's a dynamic in itself. I'm serious. Right. Sure. I mean, I'm like semi-creative. 
You no, you're creative, bro. You're creative. No, I don't like you're the creative. Title. Oh, my God. I'm not giving you like, the title. I'm just saying you are, you are creative. You just don't like trends. You don't like trends. You don't like things turning. Like, I don't like. like You like the word creative until it becomes a trend. Then you don't it like is it. definitely right. A trend. It is. I'm just a like creative. introvert is. I'm introvert. I'm yeah. introvert. Me, you, you're, you're not. You're be outside every weekend. Right. Shut up. <laughs> I'm an introvert. <laughs> oh, people just don't like you. Or outside. <laughs> I'm outside. I'm outside. I'm outside. I'm outside. I like outside as a saying. Vibe. It Thursday, we outside New Thanks Orleans going to the game. It's gonna be fire. I can't wait. Good job. Yeah, great job. <laughs> Dang, CL. Y'all trying to play me. <laughs> anyway, this is for fun by Nia De Niro. <laughs> Y'all rock out. Ah, 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 Thank you for the like, subscribe, hit the bell. This is gonna take us out. I don't do this shit for fun. No. I don't do this shit for fun. No. I don't do this shit for fun. No. Man, I told you that I'm number one. Nah, I don't do this shit for fun. No. I don't do this shit for fun. No. I don't do this shit for fun. No. Told you that I'm number one. Gave a lot of hands. Remember the last Got a young man They stuck in the past Yeah I did the math uh -huh. We ain't with the, the same bars in your head. Don't, don't you I say nothing Yeah. Going in the I don't do this shit for fun, no. I don't do this shit for fun. Y'all make sure y'all go check all that out on Spotify, Apple Music. Well, no. Told you that I'm no title. Ties everywhere you can stream. I don't need to narrow that. YouTube, Spotify. You can go buy it on Amazon, iTunes. You can buy it on Amazon. Go buy it on iTunes. Don't even stream it. Go buy it. That go straight to you? Come straight to Go buy it. We about to go buy? Is that what we're doing? Right now. We're going to buy? For fun, I've been streaming like a bunch of bro. I don't do this shit for fun, no. Told you that I'm number one. I don't do this shit for fun, no. Bro, it's, I don't it's do this three dollars. Go ahead and cop. No, I don't do this shit for fun, no. Told Just you for that now. I'm number one. Boom. Cop. Look, look. Hey, hey bring it, bring it. I don't want to let y'all use it. All right, we're going to listen to that off the jump. That's enough for y'all. Just another podcast. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Purchased. Thank you, guys.